Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ghost. I'm an early content creator for Escape from Tarkov, and welcome to this video breaking down an actually well-run and focused team raid. For those of you not familiar with Tarkov lingo, a raid is a match, essentially. Oftentimes, team raids can get quite messy, with people splitting up, running all across the map, doing different things, especially as you get to four and five man squads. This was a raid that me and some good buddies of mine ran especially well. I wanted to break it down so that maybe it could help you in your games. We're at outskirts, sounds like. Alright, so right at the beginning of the raid, we identified where we spawned, which is down here. We don't always do this, but we sprinted off of our spawn because of the goal we had for the raid. There are times when it is advantageous to move fast, and there are times when it is advantageous to move slow, but that will be a topic for a different day. We had discussed during the loading screen, and even before that, what the goal of this raid was, and that was to help one of our teammates headshot Sturman for the quest hunting trip, which can be decently difficult because he has to do it at over 75 meters with an M700 and attack 30. Currently at this point in the wipe, it is Sturman hunting season, so a lot of other PMCs could be going for him as well. Hence, we needed to get off spawn quickly and book it to Sawmill where Sturman could be, while keeping an eye out for other PMCs. Alright, I'm gonna push towards Sawmill and uh, try to figure out if he's there and where he is if he's there. Well, ghost. And if he's there, I'll try to take out the guards for you. Thank you. I'll hop on Duffo. Oh, I didn't bring flashes. Not regular nades. Yeah. Grenade left. Yeah, it's maybe you said. Oh, oh, he's oh here. I, I think he's here, yeah. I just heard a angry grenade sound. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try to work on the guards. One guard okay. there. Nice. Hey, no, he's, he's right here under duffel. He's right here under yeah, duffel. He's right under duffel. Okay, I need 75 meters. I need 75 meters. I'm going to back up to the right. I killed a guard, I think. Peak. Yep. He's walking around under duffel coming to me. Can he's you back under up duffel right now. Under. I'm on top. He's under. On top. He's under. Right or left? Uh, he's right underneath. Like, the, the little cliff. We hopped onto Duffel Rock to see if we could spot Sturman or his guards. A grenade goes off far to our left, which from our perspective at that point is to the north, so we know that some PMC is on the upper left half side of the map. After hearing Sturman and his guards, I fall back and push north to try to make sure that no enemy PMC is coming from that direction to interfere with my friend Mayhem who is going for the quest. My teammate Jev takes out one of the guards. With my further north position, I was also able to look back and see the last remaining guard aggroed on my buddies, so I take him out, leaving only Sturman remaining. We briefly identify Sturman underneath Duffel Rock and call out his position. Yeah, I hear him walking around. I'll see if I can grab his attention. This is 50 meters, this is 50 meters. 60? You need to come back. No, 50 here, where I am. Ah, oh, fuck. You can't get the range, you can't get the range in this angle. I'm gonna stick your duffel. It's gonna 85, 85 on me, on me, on me, on now, 85. He's on, on me. yeah, he's on the tractor, he's on the tractor. Just stand on me, 85, he's on the tractor right He's, now. he's, no, no, running to big red, running to big red, he's got his back to me right now. He's going to gray, going inside gray. I shot his leg to stop him. It's a kill if you can get it. It's a kill if you can get I it. I don't see him. He's laying down. I'm dead. Fuck. He's laying down at the front of gray. Shit. He needs a headshot. Front of gray. Front of class. Oh, I see him. I'm by Dickhead. Dickhead. Dick yeah, headshot him, pretty sure. He's in Big Gray. Got it.
I want him to come out this door again. Got what I'm pretty sure is a PMC approaching from left side of Sniper Rock. Copy. I'm trying to engage him. Come out of there, dude. With only Sturman remaining and two of my teammates helping Mayhem get the proper shot, there's little use in me being an extra body by Double Rock. So I push north and east behind Dickhead Rock. Unfortunately, one of my teammates dies to Sturman. In war, you can't guarantee that everybody returns home alive. I clear Dickhead Rock to make sure that no one is going to interfere from there. Some PMCs have certainly spawned on the right side of the map and it could definitely be approaching Sawmill, looking for Sturman as well. So I head east to potentially intercept them. I spot one PMC approaching from the north and proceed to search for him. Lost the PMC, he might be above three cabins. Copy. I don't see him anymore. I'm on Duffel again, I'm looking for Sturman. Yeah. I think he came out of big gray. It sounded like his SVD wasn't in there anymore. Okay. Little stuff is safe. Thank you, sir. Oh, another PMC. Where? I'm coming up on you. Don't to the right by spine. By spine. Did oh, I no. hit any of you? No. He's running back towards spine. Running yep, back I towards see him. spine. I'm going to try to work on him. He killed something. He might have killed Sturman, I haven't heard him in a while. When you say spine, you mean on the opposite bank? I killed bank, him, right? I killed him. On the opposite bank. Nice, good shit, Ghost. I think he got Sturman. He was looking back at Salma when it happened. When I killed him. Right, I'm gonna push forward. I'm nading. I... Sure. I'm pushing into Big Red. Yep. No, not Big Red, Red. Sorry for the interruption, but wanted to give a quick shout out. This video is brought to you by Elysium Asunder a newly released action-packed sci-fi horror novel. From reading the preface in this book, you can tell that the author is a genuinely good person who truly cares about humanity. His novel Elysium Asunder attempts to provide a remedy to continuous, real-life human conflict via the backdrop of an amazing story. Check it out on Amazon, link in the description below. Hey, there's nothing around red. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, I suspect he must be. Shiv, Timmy. Got two dead PMCs that on, Sturman? on my side. Yeah, that's Sturman. He's dead. Ah. Damn it. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna dive bomb his body and see if the guy got this key. He's definitely dead, right? The PMC. I killed, yeah, I killed him. Checking both tags now. I've got his key. Nice. Yeah, this PMC killed another PMC, and then I killed the survivor. I'm up and coming. Oh, silent shot. Oh. Yeah, I got hit. I think from dickhead. Got it. I'm gonna go take a look. I'm gonna wrap behind dickhead. My teammate Jeb takes care of the gear of our teammate who had died. Mayhem calls out the location of a PMC by spine right as I hear his gunshots. So I move to track him down. His helmet ricochets my first M80 shot, but fortunately my second round gets him. Upon checking his dog tag and that of another PMC nearby, we can determine that the one I killed had killed the other PMC right by him 
which was the gunshots that we heard earlier. Despite our efforts, Sturman is dead at this point, to some other PMC on the map, whether that guy is dead or alive. We take a silenced shot from what seems to be Dickhead, so I wrap back north and then west to get sights on the suspected location. Are there not more guards to pay attention to? Uh, uh, Lip killed one and then I killed the other one. Shit, I'm being I shot. Did not, I did not kill a guard, I did not. I did. Okay. There's only two guards. So the bad. Okay, I'm being shot at from the bottom of the beach. Hudson, are you up or down? I'm kind of down. I'm off duffel now because of that guy shooting me. I'm running back I towards can... duffel. Okay, watch the left side of duffel. Duffel or okay, oh, side. Yeah. Right, basically, boys, I'm going to start a big run to get the fuck out of here because I need to survive with this fucking key, so I've got the same quest. Ticket is clear as far as I can see. Okay, it was just that direction, I believe, that I took a shot from. Sure. We want to just go for car? Yeah. I'm being stupid and checking checkpoint for pilot. Didn't you say that you were... Oh, no. Yeah, Jeff. not there. Being Jeff. I'm coming to a checkpoint to link up with you. What do I do? Same. We never did find a PMC that we suspected was on Dickhead. We also didn't get Sturman. But Jeb has a quest to get Sturman's key. So our goal for this raid has now just shifted to getting Jev out alive with the key. So we regroup on the west side of Dickhead before making our way towards Extract. Mayhem, where you at? Where are you? Oh, shoot. I'm, uh, yeah, approaching Violet. Approaching Violet? Violet truck. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're northeast of that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm coming up. There, Jeff, let me take point. Are you guys... Are you guys heading to Donut or towards Actually, car? I need to swap weapons. Do you want to go to car or do you want to just get out at a? Uh, okay. I'll scout up ahead. Yeah, that was good. I thought that was good teamwork. I mean, clearly, yeah. if dying was good teamwork, dare I say? To say yeah, that. thanks for uh, trying to steal aggro and leg them for me. I think I it was. Heat. Team, huh? Here, mm -hmm. Jeff, let me uh, scout ahead like 50 meters. Mm -hmm. Last time we had this, I did it for mayhem and it turned out to be quite needed. Part of the way we play is that when one person needs to survive for a quest or some other reason, we put him in the middle or the back of the squad, the position of least danger. Someone else takes point, which I do in this case, scouting ahead about 50 meters in the vanguard position. I'm gonna clear the hill on the uh, right side of Scab Town. Make sure no one's mm -hmm. peeking at car from there. Hey, Nicholas. Appreciate the subscription. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy the shed mm -hmm. and future content. Alright, I'm at the hills above Scab Town, clearing it right now. We're on the left side. Yep. Scab Town looks clear. These hills are clear. Left side of car is clear. Can you breach it, Hudson? Please. Huh? 
Just breach the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breach the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm coming. Okay, am I starting the car? Go ahead, start it. I'm coming from the other side of the car. Fast, fast. Yep. Only a 10. 8. Pretty much. 5. Fuck me. That was the breakdown of the raid. We went in with a goal, stayed together, focused, and cooperated. With outside factors, we didn't get our initial goal done, but happened onto the opportunity to complete a different one. So being flexible, we reprioritized and got the new goal accomplished. All in all, a pretty decent raid. If you enjoyed this video or got something out of it, any support for the channel would be appreciated. It will also facilitate more videos like this in the future. I do stream on YouTube, so if you would like to come by to see us refine our teamwork live, check out the channel. My current streaming schedule is 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I also have a Discord centered around team gameplay in Tarkov, if you would like to check that out. Link in the description below. That will be it for this video. Until next time, take care.